Alright, let's move on to loading states. In previous episodes, while working on the admin app, we saw that there is a lag between clicking on a page and actually seeing the content. Therefore, we set up loading states to give the user immediate feedback. Let's set that up for the self-serve app as well, now that we have pages. One way to do this in Next.js is to create a new loading page for each route and modify the components to support a loading state. For page statements, we display a skeleton row for the table, which looks like this. Pretty cool. Next, we'll implement something similar for the overview page. We will display the same component but pass in temporary data and the loading parameter. There it is, all the dynamic values are replaced with skeleton loaders, including a salary history card. I think it looks pretty good and it gives the user immediate feedback